A common problem I see when grading papers is use of the wrong verb tense, or sometimes kind of switching back uh, and using an inconsistent verb tense. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about the literary present tense. When quoting literary works, such as novels, short stories, poems, dramas, essays, and yes, even newspaper articles, consider them as existing in the present. Think about stories or essays, for example, as eternally saying the same thing. For example, you might say in Letter from Birmingham Jail, Martin Luther King Jr. states, Sometimes a law is just on its face and unjust in its application. Of course, actual historical events are referred to in the past tense. So sometimes you do have to switch from past tense to present tense if you're talking about history versus something that happens in a story or an article. When King was locked up for protesting, he wrote letter from Birmingham jail. And, you know, notice even paintings or films or other artistic creations like song lyrics are considered to exist continuously in the present. They always say the same thing in the present. Therefore, when you write about those types of artistic works, uh, you also want to make sure you use present tense. Things that happen within a story are reported in present tense, but events that take place before the story begins are in past tense. So sometimes this can be kind of confusing. So if you think about the story we read, um, the things they carried, you know, some of the things happen within the story itself. Ted Lavender is killed within the story. Uh, the events in the story kind of switch back and forth uh, from past to present within Jimmy Cross's memory, but anything that happens within the confines of the story happens in present tense. However, some things happen before the story occurs. Uh, so he knew Martha and dated Martha at least once before he went to Vietnam. So, um, Here's an example that sort of deals with that switching back and forth in a way that's uh, appropriate. In the things they carried, the protagonist, Jimmy Cross, carries letters and photos of a girl he dated before he was sent to Vietnam. He knows that she does not love him the way he loves her. He remembers a date they had and the sad way she looked at him when he touched her knee. So you do switch back and forth sometimes if it is appropriate. Again, also use present tense when quoting research sources. That's something you will be doing for this upcoming essay. So you wanna make sure you uh, are careful with that. So here are a couple of examples, Nicholas, Riato, a writer who lives in Chicago, says bird watching has taught him to be more observant of other things while sheltering in place. For example, he says, I've also been noticing details in my apartment I wouldn't have noticed before, like the impressive range of noises a radiator can make. Or the other example, a Pew Research Survey finds that adults who live in rural areas say that getting access to high-speed internet is a major problem in their local community. And I will say that if I had answered that Pew Research survey, I would have said, getting access to high-speed internet is a major problem in my local community. Um, okay, that's all.